Sure I know most job. people know the 45 day that they have to identify three properties, correct? And then do they get confused that then they have another 180 days on top of that to, to close? People get confused about these rules because they're not doing 1031 exchanges all the time. In fact, they don't have another 180 days. But they hear things and they see things on the internet and they conflate the rules. So it's 45 days and 180 days running concurrently. But you know, there's even a bigger trap for the unwary than that. And that is this red text on the bottom left-hand side of the screen. If your due date for the filing of your federal income tax return pops up within that 180-day period, the IRS wants to shorten your exchange period to the shorter period, the due date for the filing of your income tax return. So if you start your exchange on December 28th, and you file on April 15th, you're not going to get the full breadth and extent of your 180-day period because it, that will go on beyond the, beyond the f April 15th filing deadline. So what do you do if you need the full extent of your 180-day period? You file an extension. Does the left hand and the right hand always work together? In other words, you may have a real estate attorney that's coaching you through this 1031 process and nobody has called the accountant to let them know that you're in the midst of completing an exchange and the purchase of the replacement property is dragging on. It's incumbent upon you to let your accountant know, tap the brakes, don't file the tax return until we're done with the exchange, ask for an extension. A good real estate agent or a good accountant or advisor is going to know to let the whole cadre of advisors know we need to file an extension. 